Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Hi everyone, I'm Anu and welcome to my channel The Virgo Compass as you all know that I've shifted here in Mansari few months back and uh, I can't just express the feeling of staying here permanently. <laughs> when you have your own home, like you wake up, you see the sunrise, you see the sunset, the mountains, you're surrounded by mountains and that was a dream which exactly came true. So in my past few videos, I've tried to cover two portions, which is one is the work from mountains if you're looking for a short stay and for a longer stay, how to rent a house in Himachal. But this video is all about the challenges which we have faced and I definitely want to share with you guys. So without any further ado, let's start with the first point. I got the importance of sunlight only when I experienced the winters in Himachal. <laughs> Uh, matlab, uh, I can't express you, yaar. it's literally very harsh and uh, when we are coming here as a tourist, it's still fine, you are enjoying the winter land, the snow, but no. Here, if you are coming, be prepared before coming here, get ready with your wood stock, buy a proper heater and I'll suggest have a radiator heater, but the only con is it will be a little high on the electricity bill part, but that's also fine because it actually uh, warms up the whole room and it's very efficient. We took one heater and it was sufficient for our big room. So I feel that was a very good buy when you are coming here. So especially during the months of December and January, we have to open our taps overnight so that the water doesn't freeze which is present in the tank. And in my last video, I forgot to mention one more thing that when we are opening our taps for the whole night to make sure the water is not freezing. So we are basically opening the tap which is outside our house and the, that whole tap, the water where it's going, it's actually connected to the tank which is just above the ceiling. So it's not like we are wasting it, we are opening it for the full day. It's just one tap, you open it, the water is circulated back to the tank so it's not wasting. Second point I wanted to tell is the the electricity and water issue if there is a heavy snowfall. So some of the things are very unpredictable because electricity issue we have literally not faced in, our, in the whole period where we were living here. Like it was almost 24 hours. It was never a very big cut or something like a usual uh, electricity cut and everything. So don't worry about it. But during snowfall, there might be some chances like few years back, there were the whole pole and everything that got demolished because of heavy snowfall and there was no electricity electricity for I think seven to eight days or maybe more than that there was a the longest period so I was a little scared when I heard about it but twice or thrice in a month you can expect some power cuts due to the maintenance work which can come anytime having an inverter is a plus point because the power cut time can start from like 10 to 6 o'clock and if there is some emergency you can actually visit the petrol pump and they are having a generator and you can actually use the electricity from there if you want to charge something very urgent no ola no uber and private taxis are damn expensive it's always good to have your own vehicle and especially if you're in mountains for a like a small to small thing if you just want to buy a maybe grocery or some milk because the shops are a little far away from your house especially during the snowfall because we were suffering this a lot we wanted to go anywhere scooties no it will skit so you definitely need a vehicle and it will be good if you are having it. it will be very convenient else you will end up losing more time and if you're working from here it will be a little difficult who needs a mall or a theater when you have this behind you Yes, that's a little con if you are very used to shopping in big malls and maybe in D-marts and big grocery shops and and you are fond of watching movies. See, if you are living in Manali city or you are in Kullu city lane, that's not a problem. You will find several theatres and shops but because I am living in between somewhere in Mansari and Haripur, it's a little difficult. Even for a bank, we have to visit Kullu which is 30 kilometers away from our place. So, little difficult at times but uh, it's definitely worth it I feel. But it's a small challenge. Huh? Zomato, Swiggy, Big Basket, nothing. Even if you are looking for some supermarkets who can deliver to your home, it's very difficult now. Huh? Wi-Fi, 
यूजली इट वर्क फाइन मतलब माई मोबाइल हॉट स्पॉट बट समाइम्स इट फ्लक्चुएट्स अ लॉट अ लॉट एंड येस वन मोर पॉइंट इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर सम प्राइवेट वाई फाई कनेक्शंस और मे बी जियो फाइवर लाइन अनफॉर्चुनेटली इधर नहीं मिलेगा इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट मोबाइल हॉट स्पॉट्स आर द ओनली सेवियर फॉर अस एंड समटाइम्स इट जस्ट टेस्ट योर पेशेंस एंड दैट्स द टेस्ट यू हैव टू पास so some private wifi connections are available in nagar and also in manali so it actually depends where you are exactly staying because in mansari we are not having a single connection so let's come to the second last point which is price variation in basic things like fruits vegetables and the basic grocery to mummy apna fruits aur sabjiyon mein aapko kitna difference laga jaise apan ahmedabad the pehle ab yahan pe aaye kitna farak laga aapko sabji wagera mein to 10 20 rupaye ka farak hai और जैसे फ्रूट्स वगैरह में काफ़ी है फोर्टी का फिफ्टी का मतलब ऐसे वहाँ जो हाँ जी वहाँ जो फिफ्टी का आता था वहाँ एट्टी का आता है बट आई वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू कि हाउ मच डिफरेंस इट विल क्रिएट तो मम्मी अपना जैसे अगर पाँच हज़ार का अपना सामान आता था महीने का तो अभी बताओ कितने तक में आ जाएगा यहाँ मतलब छः हज़ार तो लग जाता है छः हज़ार ठीक है यार मतलब फाइव टू सिक्स इतना तो बनता ही है बिकॉज यू एंड अप पेइंग लिटिल लेस ऑन द हाउसेज थोड़ा कंपेरेटिवली कम तो ठीक है ऊपर नीचे हो जाता है बट येस थोड़ा सा प्राइस डिफरेंस आफ्टर लिविंग हेयर फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स आई डोंट फील लाइक द कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग हैज़ डिक्रीज इट्स ऑलमोस्ट द सेम बिकॉज इन सम पार्ट्स इफ यू आर पेइंग लेस लाइक फॉर मिल्क एंड स्टाफ वी आर पेइंग मोर ऑन द कॉन्ट्ररी साइड सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम रेंट आई फील रेस्ट ऑफ द आइटम्स आर एक्चुअली द सेम बट इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन यू वॉट क्वालिटी एंड वॉट स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लाइफ यू आर एक्चुअली सीकिंग फॉर फाइंडिंग योर ड्रीम हाउस इन हिमाचल I must tell you that's a big task because we in the heart we want a isolated house but the basic amenities we don't want to stress ourselves with like the daily struggle of coming out with your groceries or maybe fruits and vegetables so that daily supply is also required along with a nice cottage or maybe a house so finding that perfect balance is very important and uh, I feel uh, finding a good broker or maybe living in that area for a specific region and then finding your house is the best approach if you want something more on this part you have to watch how to rent a house in Hamachal one more important point which i wanted to highlight is uh, how important it is to have a shed uh, that is a the slanting roofs you have might have seen in Hamachal this structure how important it is so i must tell you it's very 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 important because whatever snow is getting accumulated at your top of the terrace there will be so huge temperature difference between the room because you might have been using heater or tandoor that tiny droplets will start accumulating at the end so make sure you're finding a house which is having a proper shed and keep it on priority especially in winters mummy batao aapko yahan ki kya अब बुराइयाँ बताओ थोड़ी <laughs> <laughs> यहाँ पे एक तो ठंड बहुत लगती है उसके बाद कोई काम करने का भी मन नहीं करता है और जैसे कपड़े भी मतलब नहीं सूखते हैं फिर धूप भी कम ही निकलती है और तो लिस्ट आपकी रेडी थी बुराइयों की <laughs> <laughs> पर ओवरऑल आपको डिसीजन कैसा लगता है कि सही था यहाँ पे आना और मतलब अगर आप अभी सिटी से कम्पेयर करो अभी अपना बढ़िया डिसीजन था मैं तो यहाँ पे आके बहुत खुश हूँ आई होप दिस वीडियो वॉज इन्फॉर्मेटिव टू ऑल द पीपल हु आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड अ हाउस यर एंड इफ यू हैव एनी अदर फर्दर पॉइंट्स विच यू वॉन्ट टू एड इन इट प्लीज टेल मी इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन आई ट्राई टू बी इन्फॉर्मेटिव एंड आई ट्राई टू एड दम इन माई फर्दर वीडियोज टिल दैन टा बबा एंड टेक केयर तो अब चलते हैं अपने सेकेंड लास्ट पॉइंट पे तो अब हम चलते हैं अपने सेकेंड लास्ट पॉइंट पे नहीं ठीक है इंग्लिश बोल रही थी ना सो लेट्स कम टू द ठीक है वन टू थ्री सो लेट्स कम टू द सेकेंड लास्ट पॉइंट विच इज स्टार्ट एक सेकेंड ना ऑन कर ले हाँ हु नीज एम ऑल वेन यू हैव दिस व्यू विद यूर सेल्फ एक सेकेंड हु नीज एम फोन पे फोकस सर अब मैं अब बंद कर दे एक बार ये तो दूध ले आ क्या दूध लेके आऊं आप ही आ रही